Hey guys, uh, it's Keith Grawl, and today I'm going to talk about my mentor, um, Ken Kassenbrock. Uh, before I get started though, um, I am here in our conference room over here, and I'm, I'm doing a selfie and in the conference room for a reason. Um, as far as it goes, this is the, the spot that I was uh, first interviewed for this position coming from, from our Subaru, and this is the spot that I actually first met um, the person I'm going to talk about, uh, Ken. Um, Ken, as far as it goes, has been my boss now for five years, um, a little bit over five years, but as far as it goes, <clears throat> um, in that time, Ken has taught me a numerous amount of things, um, and it's been just awesome. I've worked in every different part of this dealership. Um, right now, I currently work within basically spitting distance of him, and you'll see that uh, here in the video, um, but as far as it goes, Ken has taught me a lot um, as far as number crunching, as far as what we need to do per for, per salesperson, per employee. Um, in my paper, I talk a little bit about how, um, you know, especially on the car business level, we're judged that every employee should bring $8,500 a month in. On average, you know, managers should bring in a little bit more than that. Some people, you know, if you're looking at some of our lot porters and things like that, bring in a little bit less than that. You know, just everyday things that he's really, really impressed upon me um, have just been absolutely awesome. Before I get into any more of that, um, Ken, as far as it goes, is a general manager here at um, Tom Wood Nissan. Um, as far as it goes, uh, he was the general manager for about two months before I got here. Um, he has a, a storied past. Um, he grew up in southern Indiana. Um, he went to University of Southern Indiana down there, um, and he likes to tell the story that um, as he went graduated college, he met one of his high school um, kind of fringe friends, didn't really keep track of. Uh, when, when he met that guy uh, just as he was graduating college and he had his college debt and hadn't made any money yet, um, this guy was just buying his first house. Um, and it was a pretty nice house, according to Ken. Um, and this first house, he had been able to save for those four years because he had been in the car business. Um, so what, what Ken, as far as it goes, uh, decided at that point was, hey, this, this car business thing might be pretty good for me. So he came up to Indianapolis and actually started working for the Tom Wood Group at our Pontiac store, um, which was our first store that we had. Um, the Pontiac store uh, was on Shaylin Avenue. Um, it's, it's now, um, I believe, Ray Skillman Buick GMC. It's right on, um, it's right on like 465 in Shaylin. Um, it, as far as it goes, um, we sold that store back in like 2008, 2009. When we sold that store, he was actually um, one of the managers there at the store, and he stayed with the store um, as it turned into a, a, a Mike's Pontiac. Um, and as far as it goes, um, he only lasted there at Mike's Pontiac for a few months because he started looking for another job, um, went and became a general manager at a Ford store in Shelbyville, um, worked with the Hubler Group, and then came back here um, to Tom Wood Nissan. During our interview, we talked a lot about um, attitude and how um, a highly promotable person, and especially how things right now in the world are, um, how attitude makes a huge difference. And that's one of the things that he's really taught me is that no matter what your mood is, um, you know, we talked in organizational behavior a little bit about um, mood, you know, kind of being the overarching like uh, feelings. But as far as it goes, um, whatever your mood is, um, making sure that your attitude when you come into work is correct. And especially when you're a manager and you're moving forward, your attitude has to be correct because your attitude affects more people than you realize. Um, when you come in and you're negative, it affects not only the people that you talk to, but the people that they talk to as well. And in sales especially, um, attitude is just everything. It's absolutely everything. So we talked a lot about attitude. Um, we also talked a lot about, um, you know, sort, sort of um, the microenvironment things, which we talked about having to bring in 8,500 um, per, per person um, as far as um, revenue for the store. Um, but we also talked a lot about the, the microenvironment things, um, which we've obviously been talking about a lot lately over the last two weeks anyways. Um, talking over the last two weeks of the coronavirus, of course, and what that's changed and how we've had to completely change our business. Um, doing uh, at-home test drives, everybody's had to be super flexible. We've had to cut some hours of a lot of folks. We've even had to lay some people off. So um, the last two weeks have just been absolutely insane. And it's been just with Ken um, being my mentor and being able to, um, as far as it goes, lead this dealership, I think we're going to come out at the other end uh, really, really well and just fine. So thank you guys for listening. I really appreciate it.